All right, everybody. Well, welcome back. I'm at a public park here uh, in Plainfield, Illinois. Uh, Grand Park, I believe, and we are going to attempt to do the MTB Slam here at a public park to just show how well some of these lures actually work in a true, like, hardcore public setting. So, the time is now. We're going over. I'm giving myself about an hour to do this. I don't want to stretch it out. I just give myself an hour. Let's see how it goes. Let's give it a shot and hit up this body of water with the MTB Slam. All right, guys, let's get it. Well guys, I gotta say, I've been here before and it has never been this overgrown. But here's the plan, right here, boom skis. So, brought two rods, nothing too crazy. But I did wanna show you guys this really quick. I thought this was really cool. So this was that hook with the keeper on it. So you just put the keeper right here and it keeps the lure from really kinda of kicking up, um, which is awesome. So we're gonna start right off the rip with this bad boy and hope that with the Senko we can get bit pretty easy. Oh my gosh, no way. Are you kidding me? All right, well, that's a good way to start. I mean, I didn't even cast and this dude hit this thing on the quickness. I mean, he's little, <laughs> he's real little, but that was, are you joking? All right, all right guys, he may be an ultra dank, but, and I have to throw him back like that. Hopefully he's not dead from that, nope. Swam off, I think. I don't know. So worm and hook out of the way. Now we're gonna switch over to the bull shad. And hopefully I can get this bull shad out of the way pretty quick. All right guys, this was literally the next opening in this body of water. Let's see if I can't get a bite here. Oh, there we go, got him. All right, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, you are so dink fest. All right guys, so another super dink, but bull shad is out of the way, so that's cool. Second spot, two fish, I can't complain. Let's let him, that's weird. Where'd he go? Huh. So I want to state that I'm doing today's challenge with only using what's in the box, um, literally nothing else. So it has to be done um, on the hooks that I got in the box. Everything here has to be exactly from this box. All right, guys, it's time for the next lure. Um, and in that process, I'm going to just kind of, I think I'm going to throw this guy, the riot bait. Next little spot. Let's give this craw thing a, another chance here even though there's some pretty epic wind. There's one. All right. Man, it's like it's every time I go to a new spot, I get one first cast. And then that's it. <laughs> well, hopefully we continue that game plan. Heck yes. All right. So we are 100% on the dink troll. All right guys, I've come all the way down here and I find this little tree section and something about these ponds, when you find something like this, there's always fish kind of right off the edge of them. There's one. Oh, he missed it. Um, there's always fish like this right off the edge, right? So when you're fishing, make sure that you do that. You hit these. They might be little. There's one. Does he have it? He's got it. Oh! Did he break me off? He did. All right, we're gonna have to... Wow, that sucks. Where's my rattle trap? There it is. All right, rattle trap. Onward! Got him. You are in. <laughs> All right, guys, rattle trap's done now, too. Hiya. Let's Texas rig this thing. How much speed? Oh, yeah, we can Texas rig this. Oh, come on now. Wait, he's got it. 
Yes. Stay on. Stay on. Get in here. Yes. All right. One last lure to go. We got one left. Let's get it. See you, dude. All right, guys. So we are now switching to the jig. Uh, they called it a swim jig. I don't think this is a swim jig by any means. I feel like this is just an actual jig. We talked about that. Uh, but they did call it a swim jig. So we'll see. We will try both versions, so to speak. So we've got this bad boy paired up with this. Oh, look at that actually looks amazing. Look at this thing. This actually looks dope, given now that I look like I've been touching a stripper with all this glitter on my hands. But we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Yes! Completed! Yes! 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 Thank you! Boom, baby! I'm through with this guy. Alright, guys. So we, uh, we did it. We completed another MTB Pro challenge. Uh, completed the slam, got them all done. Didn't get near enough B-roll in my opinion, but you guys know what's up. It's not how I do things. I just go and fish and catch them and do whatever else I do as I can for you guys and show you what I did. I think this is a great body of water, although I've caught nothing but dinks here. If you were to come into a place like this, this is Grand Park in Plainfield, and you want to learn to fish, this I think would be a great place for that. You know, there's a ton of smaller fish, there's a ton of ways to catch them here, and you can really figure out, you know, something great and really enjoy it and take maybe your kids and have them learn. I, I think that's awesome. And I mean, this place is packed now. I mean, just packed. So, highly suggest checking it out. I'm all sweaty, I'm tired. It's time to go home and enjoy my family. So guys, if you like this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everybody, happy foozin'. Completed. You ate the jig. You ate the jig. You did it. You out. Okay. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Okay.